Black on black always looking crispy. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Snoopy Eats. Black on black always looking crispy. You know how I do. I got the Coke Zero on deck, and what I'm about to do for y'all tonight is review um, a place out here called Lone, L-O-N-E, Star, Lone Star. I've never eaten there before, but their food looks bomb. So what I got was, um, okay, she, uh, she was supposed to hook me up with another sauce, and she didn't, but I got... Got their something fire wings. And some celery and some dip. And then I got this. Oh my god, look at this. Okay, I gotta I gotta get this onto the tray here. And I'm just gonna start grubbing y'all because I'm hungry. Alright, so look. Look at that. Yeah, monstrosity. So this is a knife and fork burrito. And steak, I believe. All right? Look amazing. Thumbnail. So we'll get right into this. So I'll just keep this cutting board because then that way you guys can see better. So here's what we're gonna do. I could probably just rip these all out there. Of course, your boy didn't eat all day again. Hopefully, I can slide this off. Hey, look, Maddie, your favorite. <laughs> they don't fall down. And then some ranch dip. Okay, so I'm gonna start digging in, y'all. So this place is about 15 minute drive from where I live. And uh, like I said, I never there before so I'm gonna try this now so let's go I'm gonna try the wing first oh hell yeah <laughs> oh my god mmm best wing best wings I've had so far mmm Mm-hmm. Well, I got this two leftover from pizza I had the other day. So I will try it with that one. Try a drum and the nacho cheese jalapeno. Mm. So 
so far. From the 1 to 7 Snoopy East rating scale, these wings get a 7 all the way. Mmm. I definitely recommend Lone Star, you guys. Lone Star, you guys forgot my jalapeno something something fiery barbecue dip. I paid like a dollar something for it. And I really wanted to try it. <laughs> Coke Zero for Cloudy. <laughs> it's my first time ever having any of this, including this drink, alright? It's good. Pretty good. All right, you guys. I don't know what end to cut into first. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is get a half, go right into the center, and cut this bad boy open like this. Oh. That looks amazing. So they got some rice in there. I'm gonna take a bite with this jalapeno. Wow. Mmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Jalapeno is a knife kick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. Mm. Let me tell y'all. This tastes like real Mexican food. I recommend this burrito. Seven out of seven, you guys, for this burrito. Mm hmm. Damn. Good job, Lone Star. And I think that means money is around the corner. Mm. So the rice is seasoned, seem, tastes like it has lime on it, lime juice. The steak is perfectly seasoned. Then you got pico de gallo inside there, the salsa. You got regular tomato too. So when you when you're biting, you're chewing, you're getting the burst of that citrus, the burst of that spice. Sweetness from the corn, you got the sour cream, you got the smooth, smoky, creamy texture from the avocado, cilantro sprinkled on the top with the little black beans, and you got sauce on the outside with cheese, of course. The sauce, the red sauce is amazing. 
and that fresh raw jalapeno just whoo, perfect. It sets it up perfect. Mm -hmm. mm. Yum. Steak burrito and these bomb ass chicken wings. They're two different types of dip. I mean, I'm living life right now, y'all. I'm loving it. Mm. And it's raining, dark, and foggy as heck outside. But this is worth the drive. Yeah. Mm. So, this burrito dinner was $15.99, and the six chicken wings comes with a dip in celery for $9.99. <laughs> don't be too much talking right now. No. <laughs> Sorry. I don't really have a story time or nothing. I mean, but this food, I wish you guys could try it because it is delicious and it's off the hook. Let me get this jalapeno over here and mix it with this bite right here. I just cut this thing hella weird. So... Waited for my cousin JD. You guys seen him on a uh, uh, mukbang a couple mukbangs ago. Mm. Um, not sure what we're gonna do yet, but it should be fun. Tell you right now, that fresh jalapeno is no joke. <laughs> That's probably nothing for you, Angelina, but. <clears throat> My spice game is uh, not what it used to be. But there's nothing like some nice heat, though, especially with some Mexican food. This place uh, is more like a Tex Mex, is what they kind of cater to. Look at that bite. bit of everything on it. Mm.
say this for my son. So I went live earlier for a little bit. So I was excited and I had some motivational stuff to reach out and give y'all. So I hope you're thankful for that because it helps. And I got some shout out requests and um, I'll plan that out and then <clears throat> do it for my next video. So glad I got the wings too because this is bomb. Really, really bomb. But I'm a wing guy and those wings are proper. <clears throat> I just inhaled jalapeno. I went, I went right down my throat. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> all right now. It's a nice burn though, but it burns. <laughs> because it's not pickled jalapeno. It is the fresh raw ones. That's when they're hot. Mm. That's a nice burn. It's not like that. It's not like that two times spicy noodle. I've seen, well, I know Sweet Tea is getting ready to do a spicy noodle challenge soon. I know that Big Heck is getting ready to do one. I spoke with Madison. Whoever is getting ready to do the spicy noodles, I'm going to just say right now. Just do like what I did. I had a tub of ice cream on deck, ready to go. Some chocolate milk. And that seemed to really help a lot. But if you're going to do the challenge and not drink, I have it off to you. But I will say this, though. It's the best ramen I've ever tasted in my life, and it wants, you want to keep eating it. Um... But I am really looking forward to that. Because I've been there and I've done that. And I know exactly what you're going through when you do it. Angelina, it's for you. Oh, that's Snoop that ain't done. Well, even though I don't have names right now for the shout-outs on deck, 
a couple of you new subbies that came in. I thanked y'all earlier and I just want to say <clears throat> shout out to you new subbies, uh, my new subbies, especially ones that just jumped into live for real quick that when I, before I left. So go get this food. So shout out to you guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate the subs and the love and the support. These wings are too good, you guys. Going in, y'all. Going in. Savage mode. Hashtag savage mode. So I'm going to say it again officially. <clears throat> I'll be dropping two videos a week. One video on Wednesday at 7 o'clock in the morning and one video on Saturday at 7 o'clock in the morning. So now I have a schedule. And with this new job, I don't... This Friday, I, I might go live with Jeff. I'm not sure yet. I have no promises. Only when the flower comes out. Because I don't know. I have to play it by ear. I don't know what's going on this weekend um and then pretty pretty much after that i think my fridays for live is going to be canceled mm. i'm gonna have to find a different schedule for that because um i'm gonna be working and from what i'm hearing it's gonna be like full-time work so i have to work around my schedule right But I will ask a question to keep, kind of keep this fun a bit because I know I've been doing just mainly eating and I was hungry, guys. In the comments below, but I will do a Q&A soon. But in the comments below, just write me a little something in the, um, in the comment section and one thing that you like about me. two things one thing that you like about me and <clears throat> what kind of foods not requests but what kind of foods would you like to see me eat in my upcoming mukbangs whether there be car bangs or here in the house whether it's just by myself or collab like what would you like to see me eat I don't think I've asked that before so this way I can kind of get an idea with you guys and you know we'll just go from there right so Saving that piece for me for later. Save that for my son or I might just put it together and give him a little burrito. But that's it. I mean, that was a very good meal. I give both the burrito and the wings a seven. Seven foot of burrito and a seven foot of wings. That was Lone Stars. It's like a Tex-Mex steakhouse slash. They got everything there. Nachos, load of nachos, potatoes. I mean, you name it. And it's a nice cozy atmosphere, nice bar, everything. So Lone Star, if you ever get a chance to see this, you get, you get two sevens from Snoop. All right, so it was good. <clears throat> Love you guys. Stay positive. Keep your head up. You know what I'm saying. And uh, until the next one, I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay. Love you guys. Peace.